Hello there folks, welcome to video number 89. This video is one that I have made for you, or will make for you, I'm currently making for you, on solving simultaneous equations graphically. Now we've done it algebraically, um, there's a video on that, but this is how we do it graphically. It's actually quite a bit easier actually. So keywords here are intersection. Intersection is the, the point where um, two lines cross, right, in this context, where two lines are crossing, that is the point of intersection. The method states you will need to know how to graph the equation of a line. Um, if it's not already done for you, you definitely need to know how to do it. There are videos on that prior to this one, which you can watch. Draw the first line from the given equation, if it's not there. Draw the second line from the given equation, if it's not there, and identify the point of intersection. This is the coordinate that you give for your answer um, of x and y. Now. What we're going to do in the first question is very, very simple. Use the graph to solve the simultaneous equations y equals 4x and y equals 2x plus 5. Now, you might have to identify which one's which. You don't really need to in this particular question, but y equals 4x is the black line, okay? And y equals 2x plus 5 is the purple line. And I know that because I can see that um, y equals 2x plus 5, the purple one, goes through 0.5 on the y-axis. That's all I really need to know in order to decide which one's which. Anyway, it doesn't matter, all right? Because what we're doing is we're looking for that point of intersection, and that is literally there. All right, put a nice big red dot on it if it doesn't keep disappearing. There is the point of intersection. Now, if you just go down to the x-axis, right, you'll see that that's exactly two and a half. Okay, so x equals 2.5, and y equals, well, what's the y-coordinate value you can see? very clearly that it is 10, okay? They are the two values that would work in these two equations simultaneously at the same time. They would make the, the same answers, okay? 2.5 multiplied by four is 10, okay? And 2.5 multiplied by two plus five is also 10, because that bit would be five and five plus five is 10, all right? They are the two values that work in the equations at the same time. In question two, we've got the graph of uh, y equals three minus x, and that's shown on the graph. Use the graph to find the solution to x equals three minus x. Now this is a lot more difficult. This is why we're up here at the grade five stuff. Could get a nice question like that, could get a horrible question like this, right? So this is uh, one where we need to think of, well, y represents this e expression here, right? So we can call that a term, I'll pop some brackets there. So y is this, right? Well, let's say that y is also equal to x, right? And that's why we've made them equal to each other. So y is equal to x and y is equal to three minus x, okay? And if you've watched one of my simultaneous equations videos, you'll have seen, seen that you can make those two things equal to each other. And that's what we've done here, right? That's already been done in the question. So we need to draw this graph on the um, grid that we've got here, y equals x, easy one to draw. Okay, we're gonna go through the points. Maybe I'll just zoom into this one actually. If I get rid of that, that's gonna get rid of some things I think if I do that, but let's have a little zoom in. There we go. So I'll get the, uh, the line tool out and I will draw my graph of y equals x. You could continue to draw that into the negative, it's unnecessary in this instance, right? Because we've got the point of intersection um, right here. Okay, you can see that we're halfway between one and two, and we're halfway between um, one and two. So 1.5, 1 1.5, 1 .5, all right? Now I'm gonna have to zoom out of that so, so I can draw the answer in, all right? But I did that so you could see what we're doing. That's gonna disappear, unfortunately, um, if I zoom back out. Um, and then change it to that again. Yeah, it goes. But we got our answer, didn't we? Right, 1.5 is what x is, and y would equal 1.5 as well. And I'll just show you that there. That was our point of intersection. All right, horrible hand-drawn graph there. All right, but there you go. That's how you do that one. Little bit trickier. Um, right, move yourself over, have a look at the third question. We got the graphs of y equals two and a half x plus one and y equals 
10x minus 20 have been drawn by Daz. He thinks there are no solutions to the sum of equations. Explain why he's wrong. Well, on the face of it, it looks like he's correct, doesn't it? Because these two lines don't cross. They don't intersect anywhere um, in the grid, right? But they will do at some point, all right? So the lines will continue. And let's think about the, the green one going all the way up there and the purple one going all the way up there, all right? And that is where we're going to get our solutions, all right? So he is wrong because the graphs will intersect um, at um, some point. Graphs will intersect as they're not parallel. Okay, I think that is something that you guys need to understand is that if they were parallel, um, and there will be a video on this, uh, if they were parallel, then they wouldn't intersect. But these two lines are not parallel to each other. All right, they don't have the same gradient, and therefore they will intersect at some point, and that's a good enough explanation for me. Um, then it asks us to find the solutions. So what we do is we put them equal to each other. All right, I might do that in this space over here because I don't think I've got much room down there. So let's have a look at uh, 2.5x plus 1. So 2.5x plus 1 is equal to 10x minus 20. Right, so if we solve this, um, we're going to have to take away the 2.5x so we're going to have 7.5x minus 20 on this side and 1 on this side. If we then add the 20, we've got 21 equals 7.5x. And then we've got um, to divide by 7.5 to get x on its own. So x is equal to 21 divided by 7.5. All this, is, all this um, ability that I'm showing here is available for you to watch um, in better detail in the algebra section videos of how to solve um, equations with unknowns on both sides, three-step equations. Um, now, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so this is not an, an, a, a good enough answer. We don't want a decimal number as part of our fraction, so we're going to have to double that number. That's going to give us 15, so 42 out of 15 is equal to x. That's a good enough answer. Can we simplify that? Yes, we can divide both those numbers by 3. Uh, that would be 14 and over 5. So x equals 14 over 5, I believe. All right, so the solutions are x equals 14 over 5. And I'm going to get rid of all that so I can do the y solution, because you always need an x and a y solution, as we've done in the other questions. Um, so let's substitute that value of 14 fifths in to um, the one with the whole number, I don't want to do it in the one with the decimal. That's going to be awkward because we've got a fraction already. So 10 times by 14 uh, fifths. So y equals 10 over 1. I always put the, the, the whole number over 1 if it's a whole number multiplied by a fraction. Multiplied by 14 over 5 uh, minus 20. So let's do the, the, the this bit here that I'm putting in brackets. So y is equal to 140 over 5, um, that would be uh, how many, 120 and, and 40, there's 8, so 28 minus 20, okay, uh, y equals 28 minus 20, and that's easy from there, isn't it? 8 is the answer, so y would equal 8. Um, that's the points of intersection uh, of these two graphs, all right, which kind of follows on. We'd see that 5, 6, seven eight is about up here it, that kind of looks like where the green one and the purple one would cross doesn't it all right roughly so there you go there's the two um, answers to uh, that particular question i hope that has all made sense to you um, we've got a more complicated one there uh, where we had to do some more working out not just using the graphs um, but i think yeah that should be that should be enough for you to understand any of those sorts of simultaneous um, equations graphically questions all right so please watch another one if you've uh, learned something from that one um, watch them all learn everything all right get a grade nine why not it's not gonna hurt you is it take care bye bye